Welcome to 13 Minutes of News in 13 Minutes or Under. <laughs> Happy Easter, everybody. Uh, there was no open forum today due to the Easter holiday. Um, I had that set, so if you saw it, I'm sorry about that. I tried to delete it, um, and uh, it... I don't know. I'm not sure why it stayed around till today. However, I did move it to back to next week. So back to business as usual next week, where we will do the 13 minutes of news, followed by the open forum directly after. My hope is that you're watching the 13 minutes of news and then coming right to the op open forum. If we don't discuss anything from the 13 minutes of news, no harm, no foul. Like I said, we can talk about anything. And all these open forums, I've said we'll, we'll go like an hour, but they've all gone an hour and a half or two. So trying to keep it about an hour, hour and a half tops, but we, I don't even know if we've touched on any of the news, maybe here or there a little bit, but I want to still keep putting this out there and I'm hoping that people watch this and come in with questions so that we can discuss some of these issues. So, um, but I'm always happy to discuss anything. I am getting this out late today cause I'm just getting back, uh, the holiday, obviously, um, you know, up in the mountains, uh, family things of that nature. Um, but first and foremost, before I get into anything, um, this isn't just for us gig economy people, but if, if you've noticed, what is the date today? It's April 16th. What is tomorrow? April 17th. Winter taxes due April 15th, but because Saturday was the 16th, I know that sounds weird, but because the 15th fell on a Friday at midnight, it's actually not until tomorrow at midnight, your local time that taxes are due. Now, if you are here at this moment and you haven't started, get on it. <laughs> and um, even if your taxes are pretty easy, get on it um, or file the extension. And if I were, if I were you, I would file the extension today, Sunday, the 16th, do not wait till the 17th, even though it will still be accepted. You have a likelier rate to gain a flag or some kind of attention. Um, some people will tell you no, others will tell you absolutely, others will tell you they don't know. I don't know for sure, but in my opinion, you don't wait till the last day to file the extension. If you do need the extension and you know it right now, go file it right now. So don't wait till tomorrow to file an extension. Um, if you need to wait on the on on the taxes till tomorrow and you're going to get it done by tomorrow midnight, good, just make sure you do. Um, that said, I'm going to keep this probably well under 13 today. So, um, but that was one thing I wanted to touch on. Um, and remember all, all the news can be found at uberliftdrivers.com, uberliftdrivers.com. Um, that's right. Your rodeo um, <laughs> but anyway, so, uh, what else do we got? Oh, the, the subways in uh, New York that were bombed or that were attacked uh, this last week, um, they charged surge rate. And we've seen that now they're paying this back. Um, I did see that Lyft suspended all surge charges for any reason right now in New York. So if anybody out there is is in New York, I mean, we, you know, we got... I got friends like Hannibal and stuff, obviously, who could report to me. But if people are using ride, who people who use rideshare in New York, if you're catching this, and if you know of a, of a surge that's happened since the subway incident on Tuesday, I believe, um, please email me at Steve at rideshare and let me know because um, I am doing a, a bigger piece on this, and I'm trying to figure out if any surging has occurred since then because Lyft didn't announce it till Thursday. But they claim that all the way back to Tuesday, it wasn't happening. So I'm looking for that Tuesday to Thursday gap before they made an official announcement. Was it really not any surge going on? Um, but we'll see. Uh, so there's a few stories from UberLiftDrivers.com this week um, that, you know, would be worth taking a look into. Again, since it's the holiday, you know, we won't um, jump down too many rabbit holes here. So I'll keep this one a little bit brief. Um, this is in regards to the uh, Uber taking advantage of um, of unsafe New York City. And so the story, you can go find it up on uberliftdrivers.com. Um, there's also some other ones on there too that are really good from this week. But 
Um, basically, the one of the stats that stood out to me in this, and it's go read the whole article for sure, but the the fact that ba here's here's a, here's some stats from from New York. So the yellow cabs in New York were pre-pandemic, and I'm talking like a month before the pandemic, were on average there was ten thousand and change on the streets. Um, working New York City. Now, dirt, what, where was it? Um, so, per day pre-pandemic. Uh, so, in April of 2020, that's after the announcements, after the CARES Act, after all that, and the whole country's in lockdown, there were 982 yellow cabs in New York City. Now, they are back up to 5,900 but that even is struggling. Now, the taxi industry has always struggled, um, or at least for the past several, you know, 10, 15, 20 years, um, for sure, and then plus too. But it's had its issues up and down, but ever since the emergence of rideshare, it's even struggled harder. And what did we see? We saw Yellow Cab and Uber hate each other all these years, and now they're teaming up post-pandemic to see what they can bring to each other. To be honest, I've looked at this from all directions. I don't see what the cabs are getting out of it, other than the cab drivers will get the option of people on the Uber app calling for them. But from what I've heard, those rates aren't that great. So the cabbies do get full transparency as opposed to the rideshare drivers. So they will see where the ride is picking up, where it's dropping off, how many miles, everything you need to see. But what, from what I've heard, the rates that they're running, that they're offering even to the cab drivers, the cab driver's like, no. So, so far, it seems like a win, 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 win for Uber, like we expected. And, uh, yeah, but so they're back up to 5,009 or 5,500 and change, sorry, out of the 10,000. And they, and that's too many on the road. 10,000 was kind of like everybody was struggling pre pandemic. Now, 5,500 is too many on the road. And they don't have enough clients. And that's why they've temporarily at least teamed up with Uber. So, um, you know, what, what is this going to lead to? Here's my thought. And um, there's a lot of articles, too, that will back me on this. And I'm sure that you could go find some that don't back me on this. However, um, Yellow Cab working through the Uber app and having trouble getting their cab driver's rides lets Uber know that they're in the driver's seat, right? So Uber in my opinion, will now dominate price. This will be the first time since we've always talked about race to the bottom, how pre-pandemic Uber and Lyft were always in a race to the bottom on pricing. Who could be a penny cheaper? We never saw them raise the price. Well, about six months so back, we saw them all finally coming out of the pandemic, seeing this, saw them triple, quadruple rates on people, especially from airports. So, I think this will help solidify that triple to more even quadruple rate in many cases to be able to charge Uber customers who use Yellow Cab, Uber Rideshare, different types of Uber size vehicles, all of them will go up big. And I think that it's going to be a pilot program that we're going to see across the country. And slowly but surely, my guess is we'll see in other big cities, like either, I don't know about LA, maybe Dallas, San Francisco, Seattle, something um, where Uber drivers, where the Uber app kind of teams up with taxis. And honestly, the way I see it going down is that either the taxis will say, okay, it's, it's some money, I'll take these rides, or else they'll say, no way, and it won't work out. Regardless, Uber will walk away with the logistics and everything they've learned during that time and will be able to, um, you know, use all of the data of city cab, yellow cab in New York City and any other city this might happen in to their advantage. So it's a win there. And if it does work for the taxis and they're like, fine, you know, it's doing something for me and they keep some kind of partnership and they get more data out of it. Um, if they, if it's dies for the taxis altogether, and they're like, this is just worthless. Uber gets all the data. They're going to pick up these, either put the cab companies out of business, or they're going to pick them up for pennies on the dollar. And the way I see this is um, a big, big, big Southpaw punch 
from Uber to the taxi industry, bigger than we've ever seen. And we will see the results of this in the nearish future. <laughs> I mean, let's give it, you know, a few months into the summer. Let's say four, five, six months tops from now. Let's see where this deal stands. And let's go back and revisit history to today. Maybe even three months. Let's see what's happening with all this. But I will keep getting news on uh, the yellow cabs. And in fact, this week at some point, I'm doing an interview with a taxi driver from New York who will give me the update on what they think is going on. Now, that's for the audio podcast, but I will bring over the piece to YouTube as well and uh, let you guys see it as well on what they think of what it looks like from their viewpoint in the taxi, owning a medallion, and now seeing the Uber opportunities. So guys, go and have a happy Easter. If you don't celebrate Easter, go and do something else happy and spend some time with family, get some exercise, stay healthy, and spin some good into this crazy world. See you back here next Sunday and, and or this week for other random things. We got the uh, round table always on Thursday night. Got the podcast drops on Tuesday morning every day and the radio show on Friday evenings. But on Sundays, we do the 13-minute news followed by the open forum. So next week when I do this, right afterwards, go over to the open forum and I leave the StreamYard link up and everybody can just come on in and that's my time where I invite all of you to join into the conversation and uh, either in live chat or come on live. So again, we've done it, 12 minutes, we're out of here. Have a great weekend and a great week, you guys. Peace.